Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Eileen. Um, today I have a craft with me somewhat, mainly to share my dies um, that I recently hauled. And this is the Kia's Crafts uh, Bunny Mug. And it's a shaker die. So it looks like this. This is the shape of the mug. Now the bunny does come with some embossing details on the face. But um, once I show you what I'm going to do, this is not really going to matter. Um, you can see it's well bent because <laughs> I'm using my precision plate. I love my precision plate. Um, it also comes with three carrots. They're all different sizes, small, medium, and large. And they also have embossing details. So that's cute. I haven't cut that out yet. I'm going to get to that. Uh, this is the layering piece or the shaker um, detail piece and it cuts out the little outline that you see here so if you're going to make a shaker this is the piece we use to cut the foam with you can use the foam that craft foam and then that will give us the depth that we want for the shaker piece and then you cut it out again with the um, complementary paper so that you can cover up the foam and then all you see is the shaker bits. So I thought that was cute. And then you have some details on the top of the mug. Okay, so that is the die. And um, I'm gonna show you the pieces I already die cut. So here is what it looks like. Okay, so I showed you the mug. When you put this face down, the bunny is on the right. Now I wanna create, create um, a little, Easter mini album with this shaker die. So I cut out a few pieces and layered them up. So those are my pages, just decorative cardstock, um, solid colors. And for my cover, I used this heavier weight cardstock. And I just had this blue in my stash. You could see the linen detail. And I also cut it out of vellum, so it looks like that. So this will be my cover page. And now when I said the face had details, it doesn't matter. It's because this is the back side. <laughs> so if I use it faced up, your album would open from the left to the right. And that's kind of awkward. So I'm using it back side up. And my album will look like this. So cute. And our bunny, I'm just keeping all the layers of the bunny together. So that is where I'm going to glue everything together, attach it, <clears throat> and then um, add my vellum, add my shaker bits, and sew that onto my cover. I'm going to put it on here like this. And then stitch around here and around here. And all my shaker bits will be back here. And um, for the vellum on the bunny, I cut another pattern paper out just to give it some separation of the bunny and the mug. And I thought that would be cute. And then the outline for the mug is like this. So I'm gonna add it just like that and it'll just give you all the shaker details. I'm not gonna use foam for this one. I just want a, um, a flatter cover. I don't want it so thick because I'm also going to put some flowers on the front. So yeah, that is what I'm going to do. So right now I'm going to put you in time lapse. I'm going to glue all my bunnies together. You don't need to see all that. I'm just going to glue all these buddies, buddies, bunnies together. That way everything is secure and then my book will open just like that. Okay. All right. I'm going to put you on time lapse and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I glued the bunnies all together. 
And I'll just say this, be careful, don't get a paper cut just like me. <laughs> I mean, I didn't bleed, but um, definitely don't want to get <laughs> paper cut. Um, so here are the pages and it's going to open like that. And I thought that's the cutest. Oh my gosh. So there you go. That's our little album. And now I'm going to work on my shaker for the, for the book, the cover. I will glue the white on the vellum on this side because the bunny is going to get cut up. I mean, covered anyway. But um, I'm going to stitch this one first on the sewing machine. And then I'm going to stitch this here. So let me glue the bunny to this part. And then I have really, really had to think this through, like, before I get too deep and then miss a step and regret it. <laughs> Cause, you know you see it in your mind you've never I've never done it never done it before so you know it's all coming together as I'm doing it um, so yeah and then we'll put the layering piece which is this guy right here on top of the vellum okay so I'm gonna glue this one on top and it looks like a lot of glue but it's not okay just make sure it's lined up just mush it down um yeah and then before I glue the pattern paper down I will stitch it on the sewing machine you don't have to. I just I just want to. I just want to have that detail. And if you don't have a sewing machine, you do the marker, you know, use the marker or your pen, detail pen. Okay? So that's what it's going to look like. And now I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. I'll stitch the top edge here, the bottom edge. How am I going to do this? Wait, I'm going to stitch over like this. Ooh, no. <laughs> How do I want to do? Oh, stitch from here around the bottom edge of this, the cup. So down here and then stitch over the top. Come down to the bottom edge. And then we're going to stitch a little bit. We're just going to stop right here. Actually, we should stop right here so we could fill our shaker bits. And what I want to use <clears throat> are these pieces from uh, Dollar Tree. Let me make this mix before I get too carried away. Get some yellow. Yeah, that's good. And then some of this. I want the brighter colors to stand out. Oh yeah, that's more than enough. <clears throat> and then... I want the bunnies. I've got some bunnies in here. <laughs> Purples. More of the yellow. It wants to stick to me. Yeah. I think that's good. <laughs> Alright. I don't want baby chips on there. <laughs> okay, well, let's see. I have some other sequences out. I'll probably add this in there to brighten that up. Yeah. Such a pretty mix. Yeah, I think I like that. Whoops. Ugh. Yeesh. Okay. All right, let's stitch this up. And I'll be back. All right, guys. Um, I got our bunny all stitched up, and we're gonna glue him or her onto the side of the mug right here. Oh, look at how cute! And then um, I might have to go around here again just to secure the um, sequence just to make sure it doesn't uh, fall out on the sides here because I got really really close to the edge right there and I don't trust that <laughs> okay so let's see we're going to put them in 
sequins. It's going to be a little full. Ooh, it might be too much. That's okay. Let's see what we got. It doesn't shake. Oops. Okay, so I think we need, um, I might need some seed beads. See how true I'm trying to avoid using such thick, um, so much thickness, but I think to get the shakers to move, we need some, we need some seed beads in there. So where the balls out is going in, into the mix. Teeny tiny seed beads. I think that will help. Oh, there you go. All stuck there. Give it a good shake. So, yeah, I think we're going to stick with that. So once I get this, this zipped up, um, it'll be a lot easier to shake those pieces around. Um, let's get them out of the corners there. I'm going to go around the edge one more time just to seal it up real good. I want the shakers in there. It helps to move stuff around. These are all just Dollar Tree seed beads um, from so long ago. Just using my finger. <laughs> I don't want the big ones. In this. Whoa! Always a mess, always a mess. Sequins, glitter, seed beads. <laughs> okay, doesn't even matter. Let me stitch this up. All right, guys. So I messed up. I messed up because um, I put a hole in it. <laughs> Um, there's the hole, <laughs> and yeah, so I have no clue what to do. I will probably put an embellishment there to cover that hole up, but for now, I'm going to attach this bunny. I'm going to leave that alone because nothing's falling out, and uh, just attach the bunny on. Whoops onto our cover and then we can attach our liner onto our shaker and secure it even more and hopefully nothing falls apart because this will be des just devastating <laughs> all right so here we go I'm gonna attach our bunny Just like that. Oh, you're so cute, bunny. Such a cute bunny. And then I'm gonna smooth it on out. Edges are nice and down. There we go. And there is our shaker. I'm going to put this on top to signify our. Oh, look at that. It covers all the gold stitching I just did. <sighs> do we want to do it? <laughs> it just covered all my stitches. Oh man, I don't want to do that. That sucks. Mm. Anyway, <sighs> you gotta do it. You gotta do what you gotta do. Is it this way? Let me see. Which way does it go? Which way does it go? There we go. Alright, we're going to cover our stitches. 
Damn. Ding, 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 dong. Ding, 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 dong. Cover it up. Not what I wanted to do. And I'm not going to stitch this again. I'll just cover these up. It works for me. Because yeah, I definitely wanted the outline of the mug to show. So, it's going to show. And there it is, for show. Okay. And there is our bunny cover mug. I will definitely cover this up. So, use these. Make it look like, I don't know. Let me see. I do have this. I do have this. Oh, I think I'll use this for my carrots. <laughs> this is from another die. So I'll probably put this down. And then put this down. These are leftover flowers from my um, swap for Mommy and Me Crafts. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to put this down here. Yeah, that's better. Like that. I've got one little more flower. Okay, let me put this down. So, get this bad boy down. Not good with the um, tweezer thing. So we got to make do with what we got. Hopefully the glue will disappear. There we go. It'll look like Bunny, Mr. Bunny is holding a bouquet. All to cover up my hole puncture that I put on there. There we go. This. This. Or should I just do this? Can you guys even see what I'm doing? flowers attached. I'm using my leftover flowers from our Mommy and Me um, Crafts Spring Flower Swap. This is leftovers that I made for my swap partners. And um, I'm just attaching what I can. And so, just to fill up that space that um, I had punctured. So, I would say that the, the Dollar Tree sequence are not good under a vellum. <laughs> but there it is. There's my book on the cover. And then I'm just going to attach the bunny again and open these pages. So my flowers, I didn't think of this, are going to get crushed, but that's okay. I don't mind. It's okay. It's a learning curve. Next time, don't put your flowers on the edges. <laughs> and here we go. We're going to attach our cover to our book. Super, super easy. Um, this shaker die 
mainly for a embellishment or gift card holder or something. You can even use this as a, gift, a birthday card or Easter card, you know, it doesn't matter. Right now, it's a mini album for me. Um, and it was just cutting it out and adding multiple layers of the die set. So here we go. And then press mostly around the seam where the stitching is because I really want that to be attached. Okay. Rub it down. Press it hard and then should be good. Good, good, good. We want this whole bunny attached. Don't want it to come apart. And if it does, it's glue, guys. So go for the glue. I like the wet glue for this. I don't want the hot glue because it leaves that bulk, bumpy stuff there. So now you can see it's not perfectly lined up, but that's okay. There's our mini album. Oh my gosh. Now let's see if we can open the pages, right? We're going to bend these flowers a little bit. That's okay with me. Make sure the pieces are down. So you see here, it's wanting to come up. There's not enough glue there. So let me push this back down and press right where the bunny crease, crease would be. Um, the mug. Gosh, brain. A little bit of slow side. All right, so that's what it looks like. Open our front page. It's still wanting to come apart, so just give it time, I mean. All right, guys, so I got it um, figured out. I had to move the flower out of the way because I tried to open the album. And it's still a little on the bulky side because I'm trying to cover up that, you know, vulnerable spot. So if you're going to do this, don't use vellum for your shaker, okay? I mean, it works, but don't use it. Um, that just creates too much of a... Uh, hassle. Um, the other thing, I added some of the little rolled flowers that I had left over also. I got some of the sprays of greenery here. I thought it looked cute, um, but this is what it looks like when you open this. Um, I don't know. I might have to move this flower also because you can't really open it. That's like stopping it from opening so I might have to get the heat tool onto that and just uh, slide it more onto the mug but I thought it's cute so far it looks okay um, the pages this is what they're gonna look like and when you're gluing your pages together make sure you double check that these parts right here the mug part doesn't get glue on it because I got some glue on some of the pages and it's like opening kind of weird so here you go, see, right there. Just, just put your finger in there and pull it apart. So this is what it looks like. I love the different colors. And then um, just adding some pictures in here with some of your smaller stickers for spring. I thought that is a cute mini album. You could probably add more pages to it, but this is what I'm gonna do for mine for now. And, and it's so easy to add more pages because you just add it to the back and glue it to the bunny part here. Now, I don't know how sturdy this is going to be, but this is my idea. Um, and I I kind of like it. Just make sure you use some sturdier cardstock and your pages will be okay. So thank you all for joining me. I hope you give this a try. And show me what you guys are going to do with it. Because this is the first thought that I had when I first saw the die. Was to turn it into a mini album. Um, if you come up with better ways to assemble this. Please share it in the comments. Let me know. Tag me so I can come and check it out. So that I can redo it too. If you do have a better idea or a better way. I don't mind. Um, checking it out. So I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.